think it takes a lifetime or more to read the ice. Where is it grounded? Where will it open and when? Is that crack new? There's so many things to pay attention to. And are there any fresh polar bear tracks nearby? I love seeing bears out on the ice. From a distance. My name is Kate Stafford, and I'm a researcher who studies the sounds of the Arctic. The sounds under the ice, the sounds of whales, the sounds of seals, and increasingly, anthropogenic sounds. Sounds made by man. The ice in the Arctic is everyone's best friend. The whales need it for protection. And us humans need it as our transportation system. It's really our highway that allows us to get out onto the ocean to where the animals are. I'm Sarah Robertson, and I've been making documentary films in the Arctic for the last 20 years. Diving under the ice is really one of the most exhilarating things I've done in the Arctic. My name is Kristen Lydra, and I'm a biologist. Studying narwhals definitely comes with its challenges. These whales are also very shy and skittish, so they prefer to be in dense ice, and they spend most of their time at pretty deep depths, making them difficult to observe. A lot of my work has been conducted on narwhals in the pack ice. We will fly in a helicopter out over the ice and find the leads and cracks where narwhals spend the winter and observe them, tag them, and make acoustic recordings. Studying these animals really gives us not only a feel for unraveling scientific mysteries, but also how they are responding to the physical changes that come with a general warming in the Arctic. 